Hello everyone, it's James from Square Internet here with another WordPress tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make interactive property image hotspots to market property. If you're wondering what a interactive image hotspot is, first of all, there's one open here on the screen. As you can see, it's an image and it's got some interactive hotspots, which are the little plus icons there on the image. And when you hover over them or click on them, you can display some text or some content to the user. So this is a really useful tool, I think, for property because imagine that image, but with a full screen image of a property you're trying to market. I think it could be a really cool tool. You can add hotspots all over the property in various locations and you can showcase in an interactive way to visitors, you know, what are the benefits and the good features of the property. I'm going to dive right into the tutorial now and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I've got Elementor open here in a draft page. I'm just going to set it to Ele Elementor canvas mode, which removes the header and footer and just leaves Elementor. And I'm going to show you how you can use this to market property and to use it on images of properties. So I've got a blank page. I'm going to find a template that's property focused just to start with. So we can kind of get going. Just gonna type in real estate uh, into the elemental library and just gonna pick this one, which looks fine for our purposes. I'm gonna insert the template and we can get going. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. In the video, I'm not gonna spend a huge amount of time explaining how every little part of the hotspot works. If you want that sort of video, I've just made it recently and you can check it out on my YouTube channel, how to create interactive hotspots with Elementor. That's a step-by-step -step walkthrough to all the uh, bits and pieces for the hotspot widget. If you want to learn in more detail how it all works. In this video, I'm going to make a slightly shorter video just to show you how it might work for property and how you can use it to market property. So I've imported a template. And I'm going to use this image here for my hotspot, but what I'm going to do is I'm not too focused in this video on making, you know, a, a really cool hero image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a new section. I'm just going to make it match this section as close as possible. So I'm going to now find the hotspot widget. I'm going to drag and drop the hotspot widget into this new row. And I'm going to use this image for the hotspot. I'm going to get rid of uh, this for now because we don't need that. I'm going to set this image to full width. I'm just going to get rid of any padding we've got quickly. Let's preview that. Just want a nice big full width image of this property. Okay, cool. So basically, you know, exactly what we had minus the, um, the overlay and the, the text on top. Okay. So this is going to be our interactive hotspot image. It's a nice big picture of some property and there's lots of things going on on the property that you might want to make interactive for your users. So the way you could do that would be through the hotspots and that's a hotspot. We've got one there. It has an animation on where you can see the animation taking place there. So we might want to put hotspots at different places on this image. So you might be wondering, you know, how, how could we do that? And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. I'm going to show you how you can use a nice big full width image and you can place hotspots at various places, anywhere you'd like on the image. And then the user can hover or click and see some info. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do just quickly is I want to make sure the hotspot matches the design of the website. And to do that, I'm just going to grab the color that this template is using, using my tool, my color picker tool. And I'm going to go into my hotspot and I'm going to, how am I, what's the best way to do this? Like, so, okay. So that matches the branding. Now you see, we've changed the color of the hotspot. And it matches the branding. So good, good. I'm going to add a bit of text into the hotspot. 
uh, let's say I want to put this down on the pool. So let's just say um, private outdoor pool. I'm no property expert. You can probably come up with some more compelling copy than that, but I just want to put something there to show you how it works. So now when we click on it, it says private outdoor pool. Let's get this hotspot into the right position to start with though. I'll show you how you can position them, which is an important part of the video. So we want to move it to the left and down. So the horizontal offset determines where it is horizontally and vertically, you know, up or down. So, so we've moved to the left a bit, but a little bit too much. That looks about right. Now we just want to move it down. Um, that's a little hard to see. So let's put it Um, are we going in the pool, aren't we actually? So what am I saying? It needs to be lower and it needs to be to the left. Yeah. I'm not doing the chairs. So 20, a little bit further to the left and maybe a little bit further down 85 might do it. Okay. I think that's kind of like perfect place to put it over the pool. So, you know, the users can look at that. They can hover or click and they can see, yeah, you know, this is the pool makes sense. So we'll leave that there for now. Let's click on it. So it doesn't look very good at the moment. Um, you know, with this big text and the color of the tooltip. So let's change that so that it's on brand with our template. I'm not a designer, but let's, think what we can do I'm going to need it to sort of contrast on various bits and bobs so I mean let's try um, the, the uh, brand purple to start with for the tooltip we'll go in and change the color okay yeah that looks okay I think but the text is way too big so let's just trim it right down that's probably even too big still Maybe, um, maybe even uh, that level. Yeah, I think that's a, a better level. Uh, we need to match the text to our template though, so that everything's uniform. So I'm just going to grab what text it's using railway. So let's just do that quickly and change the text. You can obviously set this to the text you're using on your website or your brand's text. Okay, cool. That's looking better. I'm no designer. So, um, your designer or, you know, your brand colors might look a bit better than this, but I'm just matching it to the template. That looks okay. I think maybe just round the edges though, slightly. Yeah. I'm going to preview how this is going to look just to see how it's going. Okay. So it's looking good so far. We've got a uh, hotspot there. Click on it private outdoor pool. One extra touch I want to add. I think we can make it a bit smoother if we activate it on hover rather than on um, click. So I'm going to do that now by changing it to hover. Refresh the page. Let's just see how that works. Yeah, I think that's uh, quite smooth. It's quite cool. So we have our first hotspot. We've styled it so that it's using the same text as the rest of our website page and the same sort of color scheme. So now that we have one hotspot set up, it's going to be easy to do the rest of them from here. There's one other thing I want to show you on the positioning. So not only can you position it on desktop, you can set a specific position on desktop. You can do it for every device. So you can come onto mobile, the mobile view, you can change the positioning and you can also change the typography. So on mobile, it needs to be a bit further to the left like that, maybe a bit further down to match. And we might also just want to make it slightly smaller on mobile, set it to something like that. And typography, we want to make the same. 
There was a railway. Just showing you that you can do this on mobile devices. Uh, there's the type of oh, the tooltip, sorry, typography. Railway 13. Okay. And then on mobile, that's breaking outside, so we might want to align the tooltip to the right, like so. So another really cool thing, you can even control the alignment of the actual text boxes on different devices. So I've set it to the right on mobile, but I might not want it to be on the right on desktop. So I have the ability to change the tooltip alignment on every device, which is really cool. So yeah, that's nice and cool. Looks good, looks good on mobile, looks good on desktop. We could then do the same thing for tablet. So let's go back now. We've got a tooltip that looks good, works well. So how do we then create another tooltip on this image to highlight the features of this property that we want to market? So really easy now that we've styled it and set it up. It's just a case of duplicating the hotspots and then changing their position and then the content within the hotspot. And to do that, you just need to click duplicate. We've got another hotspot that's been duplicated. We can't see it because it's in exactly the same position as this, but I'm just going to change that now and I'm going to change the positioning and let's put this hotspot on um, this uh, little poolside uh, patio type area there. We'll just change where it's positioning using the offsets. So, oh, it's popped up. It's over there. Okay, great. So 25, uh, we want it to be, I think we'll put it over there behind the chairs might be a good place. So to do that, we might want to move it up slightly to about there. Then we want to move it to the right. So a little bit further, 55 should do it, uh, maybe 53. Okay, I think that's a really good place for that hotspot to sit. So look how easy that is to, to do, you know, typically this would be a real pain and require a lot of work and effort to create something like this, but the widget just takes a lot of the heavy lifting out of it and makes it a much easier process. We've now got a second hotspot there that the user can hover over and they can see a little bit of info and you know you can put in as much info as you want as much or as little you can even link it to a specific place if you wanted to include a link so that the user could hover over it click and be directed somewhere you can insert text images anything you like within this box we're just going to change that to um, poolside oh. Again, you'll probably come up with some much uh, snappier copy for your properties, but let's just use something descriptive. Okay, so I've got two hotspots. Let's add a couple more. As I said, it's quite a quick process now that we've done most of the hard work. Let's duplicate the second one. And let's say we want to draw the user's attention to these uh, sliding doors glass doors here which is quite cool so same thing we've duplicated it we need to go into the positioning and we're going to need to move it up and to the left because i'll put it there so let's do the horizontal offset first so, okay there he is he's appeared there and vertical offset set to 30 perhaps, no, that's going up, so 65. Okay, so yeah, slap bang in the middle of the doors. And then as we did before, let's just change the text so it's descriptive of what the hotspot is. We'll say um, sliding doors to pool and patio to outside, I guess. Again, my copy's not very good. I'm sure yours will be better. But there's the hotspot for the sliding doors. So we've got three hotspots. Uh, let's add one here for the um, garden area, just to add another hotspot. 
So I'll duplicate that, go to position, just to click that once or twice so it pops up onto the page to uh, wake it up. Vertical. So this will want to be about 95. So it's down here. And okay, I think that's a good position actually for our garden hotspot. So I'll leave that there. And we'll add another one here where we have the uh, table and chairs and the sofa out here outside the um, big sliding doors here. So I'll one more. So I need to move it right. So I'll just change the vertical offset. Oh, not the vertical, sorry, the um, horizontal. So it's down here at the moment. I need to move it up. So reduce that like so. So there you go, nice and easy. We've got one, two, three, four, five hotspots. Just change the um, outside dining area, I guess we'll call that. Outside dining and leisure area. So we've managed to do three, four, five hotspots. If I'm gonna click preview now, just to see what it will actually look like on the uh, image. So here we can see what it looks like on the large image. We might want to chop down the height of the image uh, for our actual website. I'd probably reduce the height by half, but so here we can see we've got all of the hotspots. If we hover over them like so, Ooh, let's just change that one hotspot there to, I think it was this one, uh, garden. No, that's the, must be this one. Change that to garden. Preview one more time. And there we go. We've got a nice big image of a really well-built property. And we have various hotspots that we've added that the user can hover over to learn more about the features of the property that make it attractive to them. So really simple to set up. All that you need is a nice high quality, high resolution image of the property. And then it's a case of adding hotspots and styling them so that they match your brands and are visible on the image. You can include sales copy or relevant information as you see fit to market the property to your users. So not only useful for perhaps creating a homepage for a property website, this could be used on a template for marketing properties in general on your own website or wherever it may be. So you could create a template for marketing a property and then instead of just using a static large hero image on your properties, you could switch to using this hotspot widget and you know that might set you apart perhaps from competitors or just give it a bit of a wow factor. So really cool widget. Um, I think really great addition to Elementor and really simple to manage. Hopefully you found the video useful and it's something that you, you might find useful for marketing your own properties. If you do, please feel free to reach out to me if you want to learn any more about how this might work for your business or how the hotspot widget works in general. Thanks as always for watching my videos and make sure you subscribe for future videos. I'm always creating fresh WordPress content and hopefully I'll see you on the next videos. Thanks.